Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10 and support the channel at the same time. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and this is a special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. This is our June Picks of the Month episode, where we look at some undervalued cards that, you know, if they were on your want list for a while and you've been putting off picking them up, just a reminder, this might be a good time to pick them up, because I do feel like these cards we'll talk about today are a little undervalued. Now, today's theme is going to be 1v1 or competitive spiky commander. It doesn't necessarily have to be 1v1. All the cards we're going to talk about, 15 in all, are great commander pickups. If you're trying to be a little more aggressive, maybe you're that person at the table your friends don't like. <laughs> These are the cards that will make them like you probably even less. Now, quickly before we get started, just a fast reminder. This video actually goes out first to the gold patrons. So by the time you see this on YouTube, it might be a couple days later. Some of the prices may have shifted a little bit, but I'm not expecting any major changes in any of these cards. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Let's start off with one from the first Conspiracy Council's Judgment. One of my favorite sets. I love that Conspiracy set. $8.54 right now. This, like many of the cards we're going to see today, is not only a good commander card, but has some crossover appeal. You'll find this in Legacy and Vintage decks as well. Actually, quite a few Legacy decks sometimes. Now, I like this card a lot because not only is it sort of getting hard to find because it was from a supplemental product, but also the Will of the Council mechanic on there makes this difficult to reprint. Will it be reprinted? Of course. Probably in a future supplemental set or maybe a Commander deck or something like that. But for right now, this is almost starting to push $9.00. And even if they do reprint it, it will take a hit, no doubt. But having their original copies, I do think, is good in the long run. Because they eventually will kind of bounce back and hold their value the best. Palace Jowler. Okay, here's a cheap one. Only 48 cents. But I do think this is a card that will be going up. You find this in a lot of Legacy Death and Taxes decks, actually. Usually, like, as a one-of. But that's always intriguing. When I see people playing it in Death and Taxes, which is one of the more affordable Legacy decks to get into... I do take notice, and this one being under a dollar, what have you got to lose, right? It's also, like I said, a good commander card. Ancestral Vision. I went with the original Time Spiral one here. That's kind of my theme for today. I kept going with the originals because none of the cards we're going to talk about today are on the reserve list, so they could be reprinted at any time. So I figure why not go with the one that's probably going to hold the value the best in most cases. So this Time Spiral one right now, $23.99. It doesn't see as much modern play as maybe it once did right after it was unbanned, but it does see a little play in some control builds still. You'll find it in Blue Moon. You're going to find it also in the As Foretold decks when those show up. So the card is kicking around there, but again, in Commander, this card is fantastic. Evasive Action. Here's another cheap one, 20 cents, like Uncommon from Apocalypse, but a card that sees a lot of play in Commander, so hey, you know, why not? For 20 cents, you can grab some copies. I wouldn't be shocked if by next year this card was like 45 cents, a dollar. You know, this is one of those cards that's not going to go through the roof or anything like that. But I do think it is underappreciated right now. Force of Will, the original one from Alliances, $77.95. Now, when this card got reprinted in Eternal Masters, everybody gravitated to that version because that new Therese Nielsen art was beautiful and still is. I mean, that card looks incredible. And a lot of people kind of shun this one a little bit. I like this one, though. It's still Sharice Nielsen art. You could argue that the art feels a little mismatched with the actual card. This feels like it should be on a red card or something like that. I think that's maybe why some people like the new one. But for under $80, this is the original version. They're harder and harder to find in good condition. And, of course, this sees play all over the place. Legacy, Vintage, Commander, you name it. So, yeah, I feel like this is just a good pickup still. Miscalculation. This one's a common. It actually does see some popper play. 26 cents. That's all for this card. And again, not something that's going to go through the roof or anything like that. So don't run out there and think you need to buy this today. But, you know, maybe a year, year and a half from now, perhaps at 75 cents, a dollar. And you think it's a little undervalued at 26 cents. Dismember from New Phyrexia, $3.38. Another good card for crossover appeal, right? I mean, this is in a lot of decks in modern. Right now, humans decks may be the most popular, but it's kind of all over the place. Usually it's like a one of in humans, but. Just generally, Dismember is a great card, and yes, it has been reprinted. It will be reprinted again. But even so, notice this original version holding some value still over $3. So if you're going to grab a copy, I'd go with this one. Tainted Pack, $4.82. Really cool Odyssey Rare here. 
And because it's so unique and strange, I don't see it being reprinted anytime soon. There is a little variance here, but really instant speed for black and one. The variance is kind of outweighed by the economy of this card. And does see play in a lot of more spiky commander builds. Thoughtseize, the original from Lorwyn, $28.45. There was a time that this card was $60. Now, of course, reprints brought the card down a little bit. Most importantly, the Iconic Masters reprint that used this art really cooled this one off quite a bit. But don't forget, Lorwyn had a relatively low print run when you consider modern era magic. So I think it's only a matter of time before these cards just start creeping back up. I wouldn't be shocked. Maybe a year from now, this is back up around $40 or so. So again, if you're going to buy a Thought Seize and you have a little extra money to spend and you want a card that's going to hold its value better, I think this one could be a good choice. Again, this is another card with tons of appeal for Modern, Legacy, Vantage, as well as Commander. Toxic Deluge. I love this Commander 2013 version of the card. $13, and you know, it's a little bit older, it's going to cost you a little bit, and sometimes these can be hard to find, That's hence the higher price tag here. But you know what, this is such an economical card, especially in formats where you have more life like Commander to play around with. Kia Ghost Assassin, this is one of my favorite cards from the second Conspiracy. $9.41, it's still under $10. It's great even in more competitive Commander games, and it's just a really solid and unique Planeswalker. Timna the Weaver, $10.98, this is from Commander 2016, it comes in foil. Now, the thing with this card is Edric is a fantastic card, although if you play 1v1 Commander, you know that as long as you go along with the Magic Online rules, He's banned. So this is actually a nice backup, not to mention this is also a partner. So you can partner this with another card that's actually kind of interesting. But ultimately, if you play it right, it kind of has a similar effect as Edric. Dak Fade in $14.99, the original Conspiracy one. Now granted, this cooled down a lot when it got reprinted too. But you know what? This still sees vintage play. And there's so many artifacts in Commander or in Vintage that this is just a solid card. We don't know when it's going to be reprinted again. It might be quite some time. I do think this continues to creep up. Sword of Feast and Famine. $33.99 for that original version from Merit and Besieged. Now, the appeal of this card is when you're playing the more competitive commander decks, especially 1v1, it's all about resources. It's all about drawing cards, keeping your opponent off cards, and getting your mana to you when you need it. This card kind of covers two of those bases makes your opponent discard and untaps your lands. It's kind of awesome in those type of decks. Our last card, Umazawa's Jitte, $21.70 for this original version. There was a reprint not too long ago, but it was a From the Vault version, which a lot of people don't like that foiling. Some people might be gravitating towards the Judge promo, but that can be quite expensive. For $21.70, I don't think you can go wrong here. The only reason this card is as cheap as it is is because it's banned in Modern. If it ever became unbanned, which I don't think it would because it is very, very powerful, but if it did, this card would skyrocket. Now in Legacy Vintage, this is a fantastic card. It's great in creature-centric decks, especially in mirror matchups. Sometimes in a mirror matchup, whoever gets the Jitte first is going to be the winner. The card's just that strong, even in powerful formats. So as you can imagine, this is one I feel like is a steal for the current price. All right, with that being said, those are our cards for today. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for future themes for the Pick of the Month videos. Love to hear those. Until next time, though, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.